All right, so in this one, we're going to be solving quadratic functions by solving for x. So we've been doing that the whole time, but we're trying to find the root zeros and x-intercepts, and these look a little bit different because there's no, um, there's not two terms that have x's in them. So if I look back at the other problems, there's an x squared term and an x term, and then there's an x squared term and an x term. Oh, went back too far. x squared term and an x term. Here, there's only one term, there's only one visible x. So here's an x squared, x squared. Now there's only one visible x here, but we know if we foil this out, we get two x's. But we're going to concentrate on just having one x. So one x term. So when I do that, and I set it equal to zero to solve, you can see there's only one x. So let's just get it by itself. So add nine. And then how do you get rid of a square? Take the square root. When you put a square root in the problem, you put a plus or minus in front of it. So the square root of 9 is positive or negative 3 equals, now that's just going to be your x because that cancels. So you have two x-intercepts. You have a 3 and you have a negative 3. And remember your y is always 0. So if I was to put that one in, x squared minus 9 and there's the parabola so you can see I have negative 3 and 3 as the x-intercepts so that's a lot easier than factoring a quadratic formula when there's only one x term so let's look at the next one here you can see I can uh, set this equal to zero, first of all, and then solve for x because there's only one x term. So add five, and then I can divide by seven. So I'd have five sevenths equals x squared. And then to get rid of that squared, I would square root it and put plus or minus in front. So x would equal plus or minus square root of five sevenths. But this is a real number, even though it's irrational, it's positive under the radical, just like the discriminant, and I can take the square root of a positive number. So there's two x-intercepts on this one. If you look at the graph of that, you can see there You have x-intercepts, but they're just not rational. They're irrational numbers. Even though it looks like it terminates, it does not. It keeps going forever. There's just not enough room there. <coughs> All right, let's do another one. Uh, I'm actually going to skip number 3. That's the same as number 2. Just subtract 13, divide by 3, same thing. All right, so look at this one. See how there's one x term here? So I'm just going to get it by itself. So the first thing I have to do oh, is put 0 in for y. Now I'll get it by itself. So start adding the 8. Now I have to get rid of the square first. So square root it. Square root. Put plus or minus in front. It cancels over here. But I have plus or minus the square root of 8 equals x minus 1. Then to get x by itself, I add 1. Be careful here. It's square root of 8, and then it's plus 1 equals x. It's on the outside. It's not in there with the under the radical. It's separate. Okay? You can reduce the square root of 8 to be the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, which would be 2 square root of 2 plus 1, plus or minus in front of that because there's a plus or minus. Either one of those is acceptable. This is more acceptable because it's simplified. All right, one more. There's one x here. Add 2, divide by 5. I'm going to do that in two in one step there. So I added 2 and divide by 5 after I set that equal to 0. Remember to set it equal to 0. Take the square root. and then subtract 4. So plus or minus the square root of 2 fifths minus 4. 
that would be your two x-intercepts. There's two of them there because it's one's a positive square root two-fifths minus four and negative square root two-fifths minus four. One other kind you might see is something like this. <coughs> if I set that equal to zero, I would subtract five, and then I would take the square root. But the square root of a negative number, just like the discriminant, there's not a real number that does that. That comes out and becomes an I, but there's no x-intercepts there. Think about it. That's your parent graph shifted up five, opened up. So there's no x-intercepts because it shifted up five. This represents that. So those are the two solutions, but they're not real. They're not uh, real numbers. There's no x-intercepts.